Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be going over the one and only Color Fix um, and it contains argan oil. I purchased this from Sally's Beauty and what this is, it, it removes unwanted permanent hair color. I'm trying to get the black out of my hair and I know it's kind of hard, you know, to get black out and I didn't want to bleach it so I said let me try this. I've tried this in the past and it worked out pretty well for me. Um, my situation is a little bit different now though because I have several layers of dark hair color. Plus, towards the end, towards the end of my hair, hair here, I have henna in my hair. So I don't really know how it's going to come out, but I wanted to kind of give you guys a little background on my hair and let you know um, what my hair has in it. And it may have, at one point I even tried to make it lighter and I went to the salon and got bleach highlights. So those could be kind of towards the end in here somewhere too. So that's kind of like where my hair is at. And I've actually gotten to a point where I really like my hair. Um, the reason I'm changing my color or want to take the black out is because I have a lot of gray hairs coming out and it's really just towards the front um, and it's all completely white. So if I keep dyeing my hair, I'm going to have to dye it probably like once every two weeks just so you can't see um, the lighter hairs coming out. So that is my reasoning um, behind why I want to remove the dark hair dye, even though I do like the color, it's just the upkeep is my issue. So um, yeah, let me go ahead and give you guys a little bit of information about this product and then we'll go ahead and get started. I'm gonna show you guys me um, putting this in my hair and then I'll show you guys after and we'll see. Hopefully it comes out good. I'm kind of nervous, so we'll see. Um, what this says is it is a, like I said, it removes permanent hair color. It's controlled usage, allows color correction for specific areas. I think what they mean by that is just you can put it where you want it um, to remove the color, like if you had like pink or different hair colors, or whatever, just any kind of different highlights, maybe you wanted to get it, or maybe you had like um, that ombre and you had different color down on the bottom. Uh, it is designed for full or slight color corrections. It's, it's effective on all hair types. Um, does not contain ammonia or bleach. And no, un, no unpleasant odor. Well, um, Let's just go ahead and get into the fun part. Let me show you guys what's in it. Um, it says it comes with part one color reducer, part one color reducer, and then it comes with part two conditioning analyst. Am I saying that correctly? No, conditioning catalyst. So part two is conditioning catalyst, and then it comes with one last portion and it doesn't come with gloves by the way i mean unless i didn't have any in my box but this is all it came with is the three bottles so this third one here is processing lotion now i remember when i did this a long time ago one of these is like a toner and i did it in my hair because i've used it, i've used this twice in the past the first time I used it, I didn't know what I was doing, so I put the toner in after I removed the hair. When I, re when I first did it and I removed the hair color, it came out kind of like a um, reddish tone base, um, orangey reddish base. And then when I put the toner in, it made it very ashy. So the second time I had used it in the past, I didn't put the toner in because I didn't want the ashy tone. It almost made it dark again with an ash, ashy tone look to it. Now, I don't know if this is going to happen now. I'm just telling you guys from the past. Um, but it does say, let's see, instructions. Ensure that your hair is clean and dry. Mix equal parts of part one color reducer and conditioning catalyst part two in a tint bowl or an applicator bottle. So it says you're gonna take one and two and mix it. And you know one and two, because it says it on it, and it's got these tops like this. Three, has three on it, and it's got a different top. But let's go ahead and get started because I'm, I think I'm starting to bore you guys with all this talk. <laughs> I'll be right back with um, this all getting ready to put in my hair. Hang on. Hang tight, guys. Okay, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and take the ingredients out or the products out and go ahead and start mixing. So remember, three, I'm not going to use. This is the toner. I'm going to put this to the side. And then I'm going to use one and two, and I'm going to mix those now in a bowl um, to apply them to my hair. I'm going to use this bowl that I have here and this brush that I have here that I got have from my old um, box hair dye to mix the products. And I'm also going to use a pair of gloves that I have um, left over from a box hair dye too. 
And then I'm just going to take the lid off and just dump it all in there. So the products are kind of thick. You can see this um, number one is clear. And then number two, um, the conditioning catalyst is like, um, looks similar to like a conditioner, hair conditioner. Okay, so I got as much as I could get out from these bottles. Looks good to me. So I'm gonna go ahead and start applying it now. Okay guys, so I went ahead and I finished um, the process of putting the um, color remover in my hair and this is the outcome that I got. Um, I'm going to go ahead and try to explain to you guys the reasoning I think the way my hair came out, the way it looks, like how it's light on the top and why it's dark on the bottom and then over here it's very orange. Um, I want to explain to you guys why I think it came out like this. Um, in the beginning of the video I told you guys that I had um, I was putting henna in my hair, so I had henna towards the ends. I don't know how well you can see it through the camera, but um, on the ends here I have green in the hair. And I um, tried to take the henna out before with a different product, and I had the same result where I got green, but I had a full head of henna. Um, and the green was up here. So now, since you know it's been like maybe about, I don't know, maybe like eight months, I, I want to say around eight months that I stopped dyeing my hair, you can see that this is just orange. So I was dyeing my hair with dark brown hair dye. Um, so right here where the dark brown hair dye is just without the henna, it's like an orange tone color. And over here, I think it's this light color because this is where I have most of my gray hair. It's more like whitish looking. So I think that's why it looks so orange in the front. Um, and then again, down here is where I had that henna. So I think that's why it's kind of like a greenish kind of muddy looking color on the bottom and henna is very strong and it's hard to get out so I think that's why it still looks dark and then up here is just my roots my um, normal hair color that hasn't been dyed yet it just didn't do anything to it so that's kind of um, where it's at I mean I can't leave it like this when I went to Sally's and I bought the um, hair color remover I got a light brown hair color so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and put the light brown hair color on top of this because, you know, I can't, I, I'm not going to leave it like that. It's too orange looking right here. So I was going to say like for this, I could just kind of cut it out, you know, and just let the rest grow out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put the um, light brown hair color in my hair now. And then I'll show you guys how it looks after that process. <laughs> so hopefully it comes out a little bit better. But this is the result of just the um, hair color remover. And you can see all that green there as I get closer to the camera. And then over here is that kind of orangey and it gets a little wider towards um, the root. But just remember, I, I think this is a really good product. And when I used it in the past, when I didn't have gray and I didn't have henna in my hair, it, you know, all my hair was just like this when I tried to remove the dark hair color. So just keep that in mind. Everybody has different um, things in their hair and everybody has a different hair type. So just remember that when you if you purchase this product that it is a good product and don't think because the way my hair looks like oh don't I don't want to get this product because my hair doesn't come out like that it's not it's just because I have the henna down here and then I have the whitish gray hair here um, but if you use it it's most likely going to come out like this color or lighter you know if you don't want to have a lot of hair dye in your hair all right so I'm gonna slow down on the talk-in and I'm gonna go ahead and put the light brown hair color and see how it comes out now I'll be right back guys Okay guys, so um, it's been about two and a half weeks since I put the color remover in my hair and I know I told you guys that I was going to dye my hair because it was kind of orangey here in the front. Well, I didn't do it. I just got busy. I didn't have a chance to do it. I said I'll do it in a few days and I let a few days pass. Well, something happened to my hair. I, I didn't use anything crazy. I just used my normal shampoo conditioner and I washed my hair like every few days. Um, didn't do anything crazy to it, didn't put anything else in it, never dyed it, and it went from that color that the color remover made it to this color, which 
looks in the camera like my original color. Um, I can tell you that it's a little bit lighter. It's more of a, um, like when I get in the sun, there's more of some kind of brownish tones in it, like a reddish brownish tones. It's hard to see here. I can kind of zoom you guys in to see if you can see better. But it's just the weirdest thing because it almost seems like the same color. And it's so weird because I had all this orange up here that completely just, I don't know. It just, I don't know if it something happens with the color that it changes as the days go by, but that's what happened. So this is where it's at. It's kind of back to where it was, but it's not as black, even though it probably looks like it in the camera, but um, it's more of a, just a dark brown instead of blackish looking. But yeah, this is, this is, so this is what happened. I don't know. I guess I could try to do another color remover or I could just leave it like it is. For me, I'm just going to leave it like it is because I just don't want to put more chemicals into my hair. But um, I just want to show you guys what happened and explain to you that I didn't dye it. Like I said, I was going to just because I changed my mind and then it, it kind of changed on its own. It changed on its own. So this is the final result of using the color remover. So I hope um, this video helped you guys if you're you know thinking about buying the product or just wondering how it works. This is my result. And... Um, I'm, I'm satisfied with it because of the fact that my hair was so dark and now when I look at it in the mirror, it's a little bit of a lighter, um, well, it's not so black. I was going to say a lighter brown, but it's not a light brown. It's not so black. So, so yeah, I mean, I would definitely do the product again and I may even do it. I don't know. If I do, I'll definitely do a video on it and share my thoughts with you guys. But, um, yeah, this is where it ended up being, so... Hope you guys enjoy the video and I will see you guys next time in my next video. Bye guys.